Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFooter.com with another Android app slash Samsung Galaxy S3 review. And this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com, the best store on the internet to get NFC tags for use with your Android or other NFC enabled smartphone. Getting right to it, uh, even if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy S3, you might learn some interesting stuff in this review that you can use on whatever Android phone you have because this review is about Android apps uh, available on the market that can make your Galaxy S3 phone better. Nobody has produced the perfect phone. Even Samsung producing the Galaxy S3, probably one of the best phones in a long, long time, but when it comes to software, still not the perfect phone. It has some flaws um, and some misses here and there, some things that they didn't do, that they could have and should have, but who knows? Why someone with all the collective information from uh, smartphones throughout the years can't produce the perfect phone, I don't know. But it's probably never gonna happen. But that's okay, that's why we have the App Store, that's why we have apps, and that's why, as I always say, and you know, that uh, your Android phone is only as good as you make it, because it's up to you to find those apps that are gonna really make your phone better. So today, I'm gonna be uh, showing you uh, about six different uh, specific apps that I think, uh, you know, obviously there's hundreds of apps you can put on your phone and use for various things, but these are apps that I think uh, specifically improve the functionality of your phone. So uh, anyway, let's hop on my phone and I'll show you uh, these various apps and show you how I have uh, used them on my phone and why I think they're uh, so great and will really make your Galaxy S3 even better than it already is. Okay, so when it comes to talking about uh, apps that help make your Samsung Galaxy S3 better, um, the number one thing I'm going to talk about is it replacing the home launcher. Um, TouchWiz is okay, but to me it just doesn't hold a stick to some of the other home launchers that are out there. I use ADWEX. Um, I did a review of ADWEX, so uh, I'll put a link to that review if you want to see all about it, but I mean just some few basic things. The way the scrolling bar at the bottom works is great. You can put as many things as you want to in there, have quick access. No matter what home screen you're on, you always have quick access to anything in there. Um, also, with uh, the way you create folders, you can long press an icon and then hover it over another icon and it will immediately create a folder and then you can change the icon for the folder to whatever you want for example this is a folder but I have a different icon set for it or for anything on your screen if you long press a folder or anything and you press uh, choo -choo -choo, not manage edit then you'll see you can uh, long press this and you can select any picture you want for it and so, you know, it's just uh, overall, I think it's a better home screen. It supports gestures. So gesturing up, I have set to open my app drawer. Gesturing down, I have set to open my notifications. And you can do various other things. And that notification one is very cool because the Samsung Galaxy S3 is so big that when you're holding it in one hand, and you're trying to reach up there with your thumb, it's almost impossible. So I can just do like that, and my notifications drop down. So that's the uh, uh, first obvious one, is the home, replacing the home launcher. And I think AD, AD, ADWEX is a great one. Number two, this is one of the coolest things to me. And uh, this is an app called home to shortcut It's a free app. Again, I did re do a review of this, and I'll put a link to that. But just to show you briefly, uh, you install it on your phone, and then when you press, uh, when you go to your home screen, it, after you install it, it's going to ask you, what do you want to set as your home launcher? Uh, so you replace ADWEX or whatever home launcher you're using, TouchWiz, with home to shortcut Then within home to shortcut you designate what you actually want to be your home launcher, but then you also get to designate quick presses on buttons. So, for example, by default, a double tap on the home key here would bring up uh, uh, S-Voice. But once I installed home to shortcut I now have double tap on home, tap home, quick tap, uh, menu, quick call, uh, tap home, quick press back. I can assign those to anything. 
So for me, S voice is one press on home and then a quick tap to menu. A double uh, quick tap to home and a quick press to the back key. Brings up Google Voice. So you just quick press, quick press. Google Voice right there. And then a double tap on the home key for me brings up AVX. Hello. What can I do for you? Nothing. Okay. So I have S Voice available, and you can assign that to anything. You, once you install Home to Shortcut, then uh, and you tell it what you want your home launcher to be, and then you designate these three: uh, uh, the double tap for Home, or tap Home, tap back. I mean, tap Home menu, Home back. Uh, to whatever app you want it to open. So some, anything you want quick access to is a great way to do it. And the best thing about it is those keys are always available regardless of what app you're in. So even if you're in the middle of playing a game or whatever, you can always quick press uh, those buttons to uh, bring up those apps. So I think that's an awesome thing. You can watch the full review of Home to Shortcut to see more about how that work works. Uh, now another thing, you saw that I brought up Google Voice. Some of you may be saying, wait a second, I don't see a way to to bring up Google Voice in my uh, Galaxy S3 except through the search uh, function, but just to go straight to Google Voice. Well, I don't know why Samsung Galaxy, the Samsung company decided, I guess because of S Voice, maybe they didn't want Google Voice being, you know, competing. But Google is just, uh, it's great because it doesn't open a separate app, it just opens on top of whatever you have. So that's why I like to have it available to me. Um, but they removed it so that if you go into your app drawer, uh, it would used to be listed under voice search, but as you see right here, there is no, uh, there's nothing there. So this is why I installed uh, Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is a home launcher, and you can use it as that, or try it out as that if you want. Here it is, but uh, I didn't install, I'm not using it as my launcher, obviously I'm using ADWX, but Nova Launcher, uh, the developer, who's a really smart developer, uh, he connected it to all of the activities of your phone, including the voice search activity. So, for example, let's find, there we go, if I wanted to add Google search there, um, you just go into shortcuts and you see it has activities right there. So I click activities, and then it's going to bring up a list of all the uh, available activities that are on my phone. And one of those is going to be voice search. And there's a lot of activities. There's obviously more activities than apps because it involves not just the apps you have on your phone, but any system, anything that is running on your phone. So I'm going to go down here somewhere. So there's us voice. If I wanted to add that. It's all the way at the bottom under V. There we go. Now you see voice search shows up right there. It's not an app on your phone anymore, but it's still an activity. So I'm going to press that. And then let's see, within that, you have your various options. Ooh, so not what I meant to do. So I think the one I picked was shortcuts. I'm not positive. Uh, we'll try it. You see it's there now? Okay, that wasn't the one I picked. Okay, so the one you wanted here, it's called recognition activity. So in the list of activities, it's about the third one down. Once you choose the right activity, which is recognition activity, then when you press the uh, voice search icon, as you can see, voice search opens right up. So that's only available because I have Nova Launcher installed on my phone, which allows me through shortcuts to access activities. So that's a really uh, another great thing. Um, now the other thing is uh, notification launcher. Now this is the notification launcher, obviously, that comes with your Samsung Galaxy S3. Again, I don't know sometimes why companies do what they do. Samsung went out of their way to do some really cool things on this phone. And yet, something so simple, 
like allowing us to customize the notification shortcut bar. Um, because most of the stuff that's on this bar is stuff that I don't ever use. So, or I never toggle. So, I don't want it. Maybe, maybe someone else does. Um, so, I would like to be able to customize this. But, again, they didn't allow that. So, step in uh, One Tap Quick Bar. Now, One Tap Quick Bar is a new app. Um, it's, there's a free version, which I'm using, allows you one bar, or there's a paid version, which allows you multiple bars, as well as uh, widgets on your home screen. Uh, there's another app that I did review, which does pretty much the same thing, called Widget Soy. So you can check that one out as well. And I do have a review of that one, so I'll uh, uh, leave the link to that review. But the one I have installed right now is One Tap Quick Bar. Basically allows you to put an ongoing notification uh, bar here, which allows you to change various things and toggle various things. This is a Wi-Fi toggle. Um, this is for display brightness, as you can see. Uh, this one is for sound. If you want to see what your various levels are and adjust them, and you can do it quickly that way. Um, and there's a lot of different things. You can also add apps. This is my camera app here in the corner. You can add any app, any shortcut um, that you want. Uh, and again, if you have Nova Launcher installed and through shortcuts, you could add any activity. So you could add a quick launch to uh, Google's voice search activity uh, in this bar if you wanted. But anyway, that's uh, that's uh, one tap quick bar, uh, which I again I think makes my phone better. And then uh, another thing is nightstand clock. Now, the reason I'm going to recommend this is something to improve uh, your your phone is very simple, and that's because I, I've read a lot of people uh, in forums and stuff complaining about the LED light. Um, up here being really being too bright at night when they sit in the nightstand and it's it is a very bright LED um, but if you install a nightstand clock on your phone and when you go to bed at night you uh, initiate it and you plug in your phone to charge guess what you will not get any LED notifications why is that because the LED notifications only light up when uh, your phone uh, when your screen is off because obviously if your screen is on it assumes you're using your phone and you don't need to be notified so whenever your screen goes off that's when the charging LED comes on or that's when the missed notification LED comes on well if you're running a nightstand clock then you're uh, 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 technically you're running an app technically even though your phone's just sitting there and it's charging and it's you know you're not using it as far as the phone is concerned you are using it and therefore the LEDs do not light up so a quick install of this and as you can see there's a lot of settings you can make it as dim or as bright as you want it um, I keep it pretty dim because again it is nighttime it's dark you don't need it very bright and I don't want it to bother me it would defeat the purpose of canceling out the LED if you had a really bright screen but uh, you can set the levels it's very customizable I did a review of nightstand clock before so I'll link to that but uh, in terms of the Samsung Galaxy, I'm just recommending it for people who uh, want to use the LED notifications and want to keep those on, because you can turn them off. But if you want to keep them on so that you are notified during the day, but you don't want them to bother you at night, then you install this app. And uh, when you go to bed at night, you have a nice little bedside clock. And at the same time, you don't get the LED notifications. So the last thing I'm going to recommend um, actually, I actually already kind of showed it to you a little bit, and that's AVX. Um, also, there, it has a, a sister app, I guess you would say, called Eva, which is exactly the same, just a different uh, user interface. But AVX is great for sending text. Send a text to Russell. New message to Russell Schnabel. Go ahead. Just wanted to say hello. Just wanted to say hello. Cancel. I have cancelled this text message. Thank you. My pleasure. That's a very basic demonstration of it. Um, I have a full review uh, using Eva, which I'll, I'll put a link to. But as far as why I would recommend that, or why I think it's better than S-Voice, S-Voice is actually better 
for getting general information questions answered because Samsung has an agreement with Warframe where they probably pay them buttloads of money in order to use their uh, uh, information engine. So, I, and that's why I still have S Voice coded to one of my shortcuts because if I want to know just a, the answer to a question, S Voice is the way to go. But for anything else related to controlling your phone or using your phone by voice, AVX and Eva can't be beat. Uh, the way they handle incoming texts, it'll tell you you have a text and it'll ask you, do you want to hear it? You can say yes or no. If you say no, it says okay. You say yes, it read, uh, it'll read it to you. Then it'll ask you if you want to reply. You can say yes or no. Um, when you send a text, you don't have to say it all in one big thing. You can say a sentence. Then you can say another sentence, then you can say another sentence. If it gets it wrong, you can just say again and then repeat it. So anyway, you'll just, you can see the review. It also does Facebook updates and can read your Facebook news feed and can control all the uh, settings of your phone, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. Uh, it also interacts with Tasker. Anyway, I'll put links below so you can see why I recommend that as being a great asset. But uh, anyway, those are the the apps, the specific apps that I think really help improve uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3. So that was the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and about five or six apps that I think will make the phone better. Um, hopefully you uh, agree and see the benefit, but you know, obviously to each his own. So maybe several of those apps you're like, yeah, I don't need that. I'll keep my phone the way it is. but. Hopefully there were at least one or two that you thought, wow, that's really cool. I think I'd like to try that on my phone. Um, I think if I had to pick one that I think is my favorite, uh, probably, I don't know, it's hard to say. But Home to Shortcut is a pretty awesome thing to be able to give you those uh, quick tap, uh, three quick tap apps um, with your uh, capacitive and, and hard home key. Um, I, I think that that's probably uh, my favorite, um, and anybody can use that. Um, other than that, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's great that I can add to my notification bar. I just wish Samsung had allowed us to customize that ourselves. But anyway, I, I, I go, I digress and rumble on. So uh, hopefully you found those helpful. Uh, if you like this review, please click the like button or share it with your friends, especially if you know people who have the phone. And uh, if you don't like the review, then feel free to click the dislike button. Also, feel free to comment. And if you have any questions about the apps, feel free to uh, leave the question below. Of course, uh, any of the apps, which I think almost all of them, I've done reviews of the apps themselves on uh, my old phone, then uh, I'm going to put a link below. So you can just click the links below to see full detailed reviews about each individual app. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com reminding you that your Samsung Galaxy S3 or any other Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.